This is the Carpy Ride W502. This is a waterproof wireless Apple CarPlay Android Auto streaming device that you can hook to your ATV, UTV, or motorcycle. But on today's video, we're gonna put this on a golf cart. Previously in another video, they sent me one for my truck. I absolutely love it. So when they asked me to make another review for this type of vehicle, I said yes. So let's open it up and see what's inside. And I'll show you everything about it. So when you open it up first time, you're gonna to come to your car P ride manual. This entire manual is in English and in color. Very easy to understand. You have the car P ride system there. It may look like it has some scratches on it and it does. When I was test fitting it on the golf cart earlier, well, it dropped and fell. And I thought I ruined it, but I didn't. The screen comes with a screen protector, so it protected those scratches there, and it's only on the screen protector itself. So go ahead and pull the rest of the foam out here. You have your carpy ride system. It's got just over six feet of power and ground wire that's included with it, and it also has a fusible link on there as well. Screen protector, you may ask. Look at those scratches. They're disappearing. So it does have a screen protector on there. If you do drop it while the screen protector is on there, it may protect it. It did protect mine. I'm thankful for that as well. So on the carpet ride itself here, this right here is completely sealed for power sports applications. You got this like little hood cover here at the very top. On the back, you have a swivel ball mount. That's how they mount it on this system. In the box, there's a handlebar uh, mount. I'll go over all of that here in just a minute. And uh, over here on the side, you have like an SD card input that's got a weatherproof cover on there. So if you do decide to stick like a micro SD card in there, you can put this cover back on it and it'll still be waterproof. So in this bag, you have all of your installation stuff. We'll go over everything real quick. This is the main body for the carpet ride mount. You have a piece of rubber that goes around the handlebars. You have a wrench that's included. You have the main body mount that goes to the top of the handlebars or any other kind of bars in the vehicle as well. You have a lower handlebar cover here. Put this on the bottom of the handlebars and then you'll stick the U-bolt around there to clamp everything down. And this right here cover protects the bottom of the handlebars from the U-bolts. It comes with two different size stainless U-bolts, but in today's application, we're not gonna be using those. And it comes with all the hardware as far as your nuts, your washers, and these covers right here as well. Now, I don't have a motorcycle to mount it to, but I wanted to show you what it looked like on like a bar style mount. I've installed everything that's included with the kit, except the rubber here, and the rubber would go around the handlebar itself. I just didn't have anything accessible real quick to cut this rubber just for this demonstration. The little caps that I talked about are there to cover the U-bolts at the very top, so you don't accidentally hit them with your hand or anything. That's just there to protect it but you have your lower portion of your U-bolt mount, the upper portion, which we're gonna be using in today's video, and this right here, main bracket, and it attaches to your carpet ride system there as well. Now this looks cool attached to this GoPro here, but let's get outside and get it off of this demonstration and install it on a golf cart and see how it really works. All right guys, so this is what I'm thinking. This is my 2014 President. And I've thought about mounting it right above my Navitas and my X-ray speedometer here. I'll have easy access to the controls right here above the steering wheel. It'll be easily viewed when we're riding down the road. I have my other controls there as well. I think if we ran everything down through this loom here, through this column, we could run our power and ground wire there. We can have it sync up to this sound bar here by Bazooka. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Let me get this right here into the shop where it's a little bit cooler and we'll get started on the mounting process. So I was thinking the carpet ride would look pretty cool mounted right here in this position here. It's up top, you can see it above the steering wheel, easily access it if you want to change a song or station or whatever, check the weather, maps, whatever. Uh, it's easy accessible, right? So I started doing all different kinds of ideas. And this is the one I came to that we're gonna run with today. This right here has the same opening, these two holes here, as the X-ray speedometer on the top of the mount there. So to see those two mounts here and here, well, these two openings go right there as well. And if we can mount this right here ball on the back of this bracket here, rotate our main body up, then mount our screen at the very top, 
Only thing we have to do is get longer bolts here that mounts the x-ray speedometer. So that's exactly what I've done. I've went ahead and removed these bolts one time. These are four millimeter by 0.70 pitch thread. So I took a ride to my local hardware store. So the bolt I'm using is an inch and a half in length. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get the carpy ride down here as well. I'm gonna get this lower mount and this upper mount installed here. I'm gonna tighten it down. All right, so I got the system mounted, got the wire ran down. It's going into the loom. The loom's going down into the column cover. It's a pretty nice look right there, I believe. That's what it looks like from the passenger side. We got pretty lucky with those bolts there going into the back of the x-ray. So if you have an x-ray speedometer and you wanna do this right here mod, now you know that that works. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unloosen the dash here. I'm gonna run my power and ground to the fuse block that I have behind the dash. All right guys, so here's the carpet ride. I went ahead and turned the golf cart around in the shop so it wouldn't be such a distraction in the background. First thing you need to do is to pair your smartphone with the carpet ride system itself. Now in order to get started, I'm gonna come down here, go to my Bluetooth settings here, go to Bluetooth settings. settings. Down here at the very bottom, it says Carpy Ride, and then it says 01BFED. We're gonna choose that. We're gonna go ahead and join that as well and pair it. We're gonna allow this. Use CarPlay with Carpy Ride. We can use that. Now we're already synced up here. The next thing we need to do is to turn on our bazooka tube up here and put it in the pairing mode. So we're gonna turn it on. Bazooka audio. Bluetooth pairing. Bluetooth paired. So it's paired up now. Now how do you pair it? We put it in Bluetooth the transmission. See it says BAZ-G2, that's connected. All right guys, so I have my phone right here. I'm not even gonna turn it on. I have the Bazooka soundbar remote control turned on as well. We're not gonna mess with that. I have the Bazooka itself turned on, the golf cart zone. And we have the carpy ride. Hey Siri, play some royalty free music. Here's royalty free by Freestyle Beats. Hey Siri, play some royalty free country music. Now playing country by Musway Studio. All right, so here on the car home itself, you have CarPlay, you have Android Auto, you have an EQ setting. Now on the EQ setting down here, you can change the loudness. It'll amplify the output signal of the car you ride, and you can adjust the EQ here as well. They have some custom EQ settings. I'll just like to leave mine flat. Go back to home. You can turn the display on and off by hitting that button there. Turn it back on. There's your Bluetooth. There's your micro SD card. Here's your Bluetooth transmission here. This is to set it up. Oh. I'm getting a FaceTime video from my wife, but we're gonna have to delete this right here. Uh, settings here. We got a language with English. We have a backlight setting. Okay. We have, we're gonna restore the factory uh, settings, system version. Go over here to the Wi Fi itself. Go back here. This right here changes the backgrounds here. This right here is a dark mode and a sunny mode. Hey Siri, play some royalty free rock music. Now playing 66 Ultimate Guitar Jam Backing Tracks, Rock Metal Blues, royalty free by Premium Guitar Backing Tracks. Another thing I like about this.
right guys so i'm sitting here editing the video and i forgot to make an outro i'm not at the house right now i stayed in the green creek shipyard i think that's what it's called yeah the green creek shipyard 2.0 this is in north carolina this is an airbnb 40 foot container uh, if you watch levi kelly's videos um he stayed here i follow him a lot i like to stay in these off the wall airbnb places but I was editing this video this weekend and forgot to make an outro. I like the Carp you Ride system, I really do. Uh, it's not gonna live on that golf cart permanently. It's actually gonna go on my wife's golf cart. Now the reason I'm gonna place it on my wife's golf cart is we're building it and um, we're gonna use it as a main uh, a radio for her golf cart. I have a marine Bluetooth amplifier and some marine speakers that's gonna go in that golf cart as well. I just think that's the perfect combination. She doesn't really listen to the radio. Everything she listens to, the you know, Apple CarPlay or Spotify or, or whatever. Um, you know, if she ever wants to travel around town or if we ever go, you know, to the beach camping or whatever, she wants to put in an address, boom, right there. She don't have to worry about looking at her phone. But, you know, another thing that I like about it is it's waterproof, it's touchscreen. It's easily uh, mountable anywhere, really. It's small, it's compact. Now the radio sounds great. Uh, there's no static, there's no noise through the car pure ride system. I really like that a lot about it. You can uh, adjust the loudness. They have extra EQ settings. Like I said in the video, I leave mine all flat all the time, but that's the video. I appreciate you guys watching today's video. It isn't much, it wasn't a will it run video or whatever. There'll be links in the description below where you can find the car pure ride system at. This is something you're in interested in as well. Carpy Ride actually sent me one to put in my truck. I did a video on that. I love it. And it goes everywhere I go. So uh, the Carpy Ride system is great systems. There's other imitators out there, but I really like the Carpy Ride system. With that being said, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. And until next time, we'll see y'all later. Bye.